So, last episode, we finished up in the Grumbling Grottoes, finally, and this episode we're headed to some luscious lakes, and uh... Oh boy, can I say that for the next few episodes, uh... We're going to be doing worlds I enjoy as well. I enjoyed Gorman Land and CM Serendipity quite a bit. Let's just say that these next two worlds we will like it ramps up tenfold. But uh <laughs> I'm just hoping that I might have enough electoons in this save file to continue. That might be a thing I need. Possibly. Who knows? But, uh, I guess the first thing I would like to touch on is that, uh... <laughs> um... These next two worlds are real... Like, this sh this world and the next one are really short. Um... In some ways, ev look, even the one after that is, like, the same length, somewhat. Um... So I'm thinking what I'll do is, once we finish up here in Luxus Lakes, we'll head straight to Anchor's the Abyss, and then the, uh, like, the episode you expect us to go into Ridic Clouds, we will be headed back and be doing the time attacks in both Luxus Lakes and this one, well, in Anchor's the Abyss. Only because, uh, <laughs> there's two time attacks per world now. Like, the next two, next three worlds just only have two time attacks. And, uh, <laughs> I mean, I would possibly lump in... Okay, shit. Uh, yeah, I would lump in the third and final world's time attacks in, although... Uh, let's just say that those are spicy. Um, <laughs> that episode is going to be something else. Um, <laughs> not quite sure how the time attack episode will go for this world, but I kind of get the feeling that the whole the premise of these being, of those episodes being highlighted might actually get <laughs> some use in that episode. Like, that is how hard they are. Um, but I mean, enough about that, let's uh, focus on what is ahead. Uh, oh, like, shit. Oh, what's in front of us, I suppose. Uh, and I know it probably should shut up at the, about the time attacks, but, uh... Since it will be some time since we get into these, um... The time attack for this one is really good. Um... It's a little on the long... like, it's a bit longer, and, uh... There's a ton of shortcuts you can take. Not to mention it is a little bit spicy too. Oh shit. <laughs> Although I would definitely say it borders on um, unfair sometimes. Maybe. Like there's some of that, I would say. So what if they don't go away for you like Go to a different part of the screwing. I mean, I guess I could. Possibly. Yeah, um, yeah. Uh. Okay. Oh, you're yeah, right, because you can, like, hold on to the side of those. Uh. 
But anyway, uh, something I've been really wanting to mention for like the longest time now, and I'm not sure why I haven't, it just hasn't come to mind. Um, and in fact, last recording session I wanted to me mention it, but just didn't get to. Um, and that is that I've been wanting to give Roman Legends an another try. And, um, I brought, or I downloaded the Definitive Edition demo the other day on the Switch, and, um, let's just say that that version might just have, uh, <laughs> fixed all the problems I had with it. Shit. Um. It is a, look, it's definitely a much faster paced game when you control both characters. Um, only downside to that, I suppose, um, since, since it has been a while since I've played it, um, it, it's a little different and like, you need to be like, oh, you have to like, be re eh. your positioning has to be like, really, really good. Um, since Murphy just, or you don't control Murphy, or like, you don't control his position, um, you just control what he does and all that, which is a little weird, and, um, it's a bit of a side note, uh, that ledge up there, you can get on top of it, but, okay, <laughs> doesn't really do much for you, um, hmm. Okay then. Uh, yeah, uh. Shit. Uh, and only problem about the Definitive Edition is that, uh. I mean, while it may be on sale at the moment, I'm not entirely sure if I want to, like, slap down the full price of it. That sort of thing. Um. Not to mention, I'm kind of considering, like, pre-ordering Age of Calamity. <laughs> Maybe. Just so I can get that spoon before. Like, bef Yeah, I... Oh, yeah. Get the spoon before I have to pay for it, or something. Maybe. Although, that being said, um... I'm not sure how like, much time I'll get to put into that. Maybe. <laughs> Holy shit, that was terrible. Oh yeah, right, 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 I was gonna say. Um, I think we missed the Electrine. But the Bullet Hell one was like the first one. That's right. But yeah, uh, just hoping that uh, I might be able to get Legends on sale or something. Oh, you're right, there's like nothing there for us. Okay. Is the, this the, okay? There's one more room. No, this is the room. Um, so they kind of want you to like climb the room normally, but <laughs> you just like take a little bit of a shortcut. Still, like a little bit. Um, I will say that, uh, Doing the uh, quick wall jump is uh, a little hard. <laughs> you have to be uh, really quick, and I'm fairly sure that um, it may not look like it, but there might actually be a limit to how many times mini um, you can 
dash even after doing a wall jump since that normally resets it. I think it might be twice, maybe. So I'm not sure if I mentioned this, um, but remember that point like way, way back, uh, when I mentioned that this game might have input memory? Ah, uh, yeah, nah, um, it doesn't, but my controller does, so... <laughs> Whenever we might need to, uh, fly, and there's no floor beneath us, um, <laughs> I have to be extra careful, since, um, one slight fuck up, and, um, bye bye Rayman, essentially, <laughs> well, pretty much. Okay. So I'm not sure why I haven't been doing it, like recently, like at all. Um, but there's actually a dash button for this. Oh, the the dash button works. Um, I think it might affect fire rate or something. Maybe. I'm I'm not, I'm not entirely sure, but. Not entirely sure why I haven't been doing it. <laughs> Although that being said, dashing isn't really something that's necessary. Avoiding any hit might be though. Uh, shit. Um. And uh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> the love name you're on fire is somewhat literal as well. Um. We have no brakes in this. Uh, the first part is one long run where pretty much need to, to bring your S plus game. Your A plus game won't bring it anymore. Or like, won't suffice it anymore. Um, sure. Do I even need a heart, anyways? I don't think I do. Uh, so I guess dashing could be pretty fun with this. Um, but yeah, if I die, I think once more, I would just cut up to where we were. Since I'm not entirely sure how many times you wanted to see me redo the same things over and over again, <laughs> or how or entertaining I can't, I could be with that. Uh, yeah, um, ooh, 200 though. Um, I wasn't sure about that score, so I'm thinking that I'll just do this part again until uh, I get like something, right? or like, just do that run again, and hope I get to, like something better. So I'll uh, see you in the meantime, when hopefully I have a, a better score. Okay, um, got a little bit better, but I'm not sure about this. Although that being said, this next part is pretty heavy on looms. So I'm not sure if my worrying was worth it or not. Although that being said, uh, sometimes worrying is like the best thing to do. Sometimes. Shit. Okay. Although now we need to be quick and careful, and um, can only really be one of those at once. I can't be both. Uh, we're knowing 300. Ooh, okay, I think 
300 might be fine on this part. Maybe. Possibly? But now we have to really be cautious. Especially since if you get crushed, it's an instant death. Well, I say that and we almost get crushed. Okay. Okay, good. That's the 350. We need time to to focus on surviving. Although I wonder if you can make... 350 seems like... Oh yeah, right. Uh, <laughs> something I discovered is that... Um... Wait, does it work with this one? <laughs> Holy shit! Um... I'm, I'm, I'm fairly sure it might just be this one. I might need to try it on the other ones, but, uh... If you head off backwards into death, um... The musical cue of finishing the level big, or just plays again, which is just like... What? Like, I'm, I'm sorry, what? How? Um... So, I'm not entirely sure how long this episode's going to be. Since we did sort of zoom through those two levels, um... But I'm kind of thinking of leaving it here as well, um... This is where I got up to in my failed recording. And, um, I'm planning on switching back to that, that safe album now for next episode. And, um, it might be weird to, like, just randomly cut over to that. <laughs> Not to mention this, like, world is really short, um... Like, this is what we have left apart from the time attacks. This level, the treasure chase, and then the boss. Yeah, um... These next two worlds are really short, and, um... Not entirely sure why that is. There's a few reasons that could be the case. But I'm thinking I might just roll with it and, um, call it an episode there. There. But, um, anyway, uh, next episode we will return with some frickle fruit. Possibly. Who knows. And, um... Possibly, if the if it's on the cards, um, finish off this world, and then the episode after that head into Angsty Abyss. But until then, uh, I definitely think I'm getting a little too ahead of myself. Uh, that's when I'll see you. Bum, 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 bum.